Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Today we're going to start a new story. We're playing a new game. It is Tony Hawk's Underground. Check it, man. Muska is actually coming to this dump for a skate demo. Get dressed, let's go. This is a let's play of Tony Hawk's Underground, in which case, in which it is a game that I absolutely adore. Um, this is a really, really, really fun game. I'm just entering all my details in here uh, at the moment right now. Um, okay, a yes. Okay. Now, yes, this game is absolutely excellent. Um, I'm just going to change up my person a little bit. Um, Alright, I'm going to make myself a bit... Oh, shit. I'm going to try and make myself a bit more tan. Yeah, a bit dark. Okay, uh, a bit of a tan mofo going on here. Don't you love it? Okay, there we go. So, yeah, um, alright, do I need facial hair? I'm just editing my guy now, trying to make him a bit cool. Gotta make him at least a little bit cool. Let's, let's make myself a bit bigger, because I'm, I'm actually six foot, over six foot two in real life, so I might as well make myself as big as possible, and you know, I'm just huge, I might just, uh, you know, make my uh, thighs and everything. Make it, make myself a bit skinny. Um, what have I got here? Waist. Skinny myself up, I'm all that fat in real life. Uh, hands. Uh, let's just just do random shit. Feet, make them a bit smaller. We'll make ourselves look a bit more lean. And then, um, you know, I absolutely love um, I absolutely love Neversoft. But I think in this case, um, it is not needed. Let's get rid of it. Okay, baseball. No. There we go. Neversoft is gone because I think we need to make myself look a bit cooler. And then pants, what do I need to do? It's almost a few bucket cargo. Now I look like a real life skater. Now I kind of look like John Cena. Alright, there we go. Let's save that dude. Excellent. I look pretty cool, I think. Save it. Save it of Andrew because that's my name. And let's go. Well, I just got my ride all set up. Sort of. Looks like that thing's held together with duct tape. Let's go skate. Let's go skate, yes. So yes, we are in New Jersey. Oh. Home sweet home. What a dump. At least it has some killer spots. The old pool down by the high school. Scabland, the drainage ditch on the south side of town. And Elm Street, our own little strip of paradise. Complete with drug dealers who hate skateboarders. Alright, so let's do the first mission. What up, Eric? Hey, help me out here. I was just skating, minding my own, and the dealers grabbed my board. They tore it apart and they threw the pieces up on the roof. My knee's wrecked. Could you grab them for me? Aw, oh, man. Here, I'll hold your deck. Alright, so, yes, Tony Hawk's Underground is an absolutely brilliant game. Um, it is she. No, it's not shit, but that, that is. That's just really stupid. Alright, come on. Alright. Great start. Alright, so, yeah, the, the first, the, I did an LP of Tony Hawk's uh, Pro Skater 2. The first thing you notice, yeah, this is a PS2 game, obviously. I mean, this is, I'm playing on PC at the moment. Um, but... Here's your deck back. Hey, while I'm getting my ride set up again, let's see if you remember a couple of things. You can get off the board to get over terrain that would normally be hard or impossible to skate over. So, give this a try. First, get off your board, then jump over the barriers. Yeah, so, yeah, the first thing is, you notice, yeah, obviously PC game, and then also, um, you can actually get off the board, um, which is an absolutely excellent uh, addition to this game, I mean, to, to the Tony Hawk series. Um, this was, I think it was the first Tony Hawk game I ever played. Um, I may have played Pro Skater 1, um, not, like, consciously, like, I remember playing it, but I'm not, I don't know whether it was after this, like, I was at, I was at some, like, some... Place. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, Tony Hawk's Underground, one of my favourite games. Let's just you're done do some challenges. On and off your board. Let's actually skate. At least I'm not too gimped to prance. How's your knee? I'll show you. All right. So basically, um... well, well, someone's been practicing. Okay, Mr. Hawk, try this one. 
but you know, okay. So now here's the thing. Um, this game is very storyline driven, um, which basically, which is no problem at all. I'm just pointing it out. Fuck. Right. Which is no problem at all. So it means there's a lot of cutscenes, a lot of time for me to talk. Not. I mean, yeah. Obviously, still got to talk, but there's a lot of talk. There's like a lot of um, cutscenes. So sometimes when they're saying irrelevant shit, um, I'll just I'll just talk over them because it doesn't really matter. Now, to me, this is the first thing. You press the circle one button at least. That's in PS. Let's just let's pretend it's PS2. For me, reverts are almost impossible. I don't understand how to do them. They don't really make much sense to me, and I don't really understand what they're for. I know they're meant to like link combos, but I'm really, really shit at it. There we go. I did it there. See, look, it's really, really difficult. Um, in my opinion, see, look, I don't know. Just as you land, like it doesn't really be specific enough. In my opinion, there we go. That's it. it Alright, so now we have to beat his score. So yeah, the game's also chapter based as well as being motherfucking hammer time. No. As much as being um, um, storyline driven, it's also it's chapter driven. So yeah, it's different chapters. Um, it's a really, 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 really awesome story. It's kind of predictable, but not really. Like, obviously, you're, you know, you're a young skater, you can guess that he you know, tries to make it big. Um, you know, and that's fucking mother of Christ. Okay. Um, he tries to make it big, and you know, we'll see what happens. You know, it's a pretty, there's an unpredictable terms. Um, Eric, you know, he follows you on the way, I suppose. Um, don't get me started on Eric, you'll see. Oh, and what a great song to start the second track. What an, okay, um, I absolutely love the music in this game. This is probably my favourite track in the game. Um, the World Is Yours by Nas or Nas. This is his part from his first album. Um, it's not as much as world is good. Very, very good song. Um, this is par apparently when Nas was uh, really good. Uh, um, Illmatic, the album that was here now, actually is regarded as um, one of the best, um, what's it called? Like one of the absolute best um, hip hop albums of all time. Now, now the, the ones with the, the missions are usually in red. This guy here, he was um, orange, which means that you need to basically, um, you need to basically, it's like a, like a optional task, I suppose. That was a special trick, we have to press two ones instead of one, so you have to go like left and right or whatever. That's actually really hard, because you can't play, the, you can either play this with analog or um, normal controls, so yeah. All right, okay, let's talk to this guy. You wanna roll with the street warriors? Gotta pay the cost to be the boss. Alright, cuz I'm Alright, so another thing in this game, vehicles. Um, this is really random. Um, it's just kind of just this thing that they put in, I don't know, it's, it's really fun, like but the control, like the actual look at the look at the car right now, it's so like unrealistic, but I have no problem with that of course. Baby pictures. Alright, now where the hell am I going? Okay, okay, shit. Um, controls wise, I'm not really going to talk about controls only because, like, it's different. With a PC version, you can have any control that you want, basically. Um, but I've got L I've got L2 situated, R2 situated for this one, so it's kind of um, easy to sort of power slide like that, I suppose. Um, now, where the hell am I going? Right. Um, yeah, this I hate how the tracks are edited in this game, and that, that is one annoying thing that they. they um, they, what are called, they redid it, um, they like, blurred out like shitty words in the game. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's go to the next mission. Let's hop over here. It's you yours. To see demo? Hey, since you punks aren't in school, why don't you... Alright, let's put up some flyers. So, by saying put up flyers, um, I don't understand how this is really technically putting up flyers, but, um, whatever. I suppose I'm not going to complain. Pretty easy task, of course. Those thug, that's like thugs, like Tony Hawk's Underground's like icon, I suppose. I don't know. Alright, let's go down here. I'm actually doing really shit. Okay, there's six out, oh, there's only six out of eight, okay. Muska's demo is about oh. to start. Let's check it out. Do I want to save? I do. Nice verse, nice sound. Alright. Check this out. It's louder than a Metallica concert in there. I also had bulletproof siding put in and seven screens from 
Don't know why you'd name that. Moscow, chillin', chillin'. Where? Australia? See? That's how you hook it up. I mean, what's he done? Pop down a few rails and he's traveling the world, living like a king. Yes. Um, now, I think I'm going to end the part here. In the next part, we'll continue the game, yes. Hopefully, I think we're in Chapter 2 now. Let's have a quick look. No, we are still in Chapter 1. Yeah, I'm just going to impress Muska. Wow. Um, if we impress Muska, then we'll... Um, yeah, hopefully. All right, so... All right, let's, let's go over here. Now, um, yeah, we're in the part after this. We'll, be, we'll try and take it chapter by chapter. Now, try and get 10,000 points easily. That'd be pretty fucking hell. Oh, shit, okay. I was trying... I was, I was saying, like, I'm actually not that bad at this game. Um, better than Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, at least. Um, there we go. Hey, what's up, man? That was a sick line you had back there. Whoa, Chad Muska? I'm a huge fan. You see, nobody hey, said. Man, that's some ghetto ride you got rolling, though. Yeah, but I'm pretty broke. I gotta make it last. I hear you, man. Back in Vegas, I had no money, no place to stay, nothing, man. Until my first shop sponsor hooked me up. So why don't you head down to your shop, check out their riders, and try to get hooked up. And yo, Merry Christmas. Thanks. There we go. Nice. Mr. Peralta's not here right now, but if you want to be sponsored by a skate shop, you'll need to impress the riders on his team. If you... I do want to save now. Anyway, yes, so in the next part, we're going to be going to chapter two. We're going to be staying here, um, be doing it, impressing the locals where um, we'll try and get sponsored. So I hope you enjoyed the first part of this LP, and um, yeah, it should be good, good fun. Catch you later.